Hey guys, how's it going today? We're gonna to do a video today on differentiating with the chain rule, looking at a bit of an exaggerated example um, of the application of the chain rule. So, we're gonna look for the derivative d dx of three sine squared of the ln of three x squared plus five, okay? So, to start things off, I'm just gonna remind you of a few important facts about your derivatives. First off, the derivative of sine of x is cos of x. And second, the derivative d dx of ln of x is 1 over x. Those two are very much worth committing to memory, as you're going to see them again and again um, up until you're done with calculus. So, with that in mind, let's get started. So, the derivative of this entire thing, we can start off by looking at the 3 up front. That's just a scalar multiple. It's not going to do anything, and so we can leave b and move on to the rest of the expression. Next up, we're going to differentiate sine squared. Again, the chain rule is always a matter of working outside of. And so we're going to start off with the stuff on the outside, namely the sine squared, and we're going to differentiate as we always would. So, differentiating sine squared means the 2 in the exponent is going to drop down and multiply the coefficient, and then it's going to drop down by 1, so the 2 is going to go down to 1, and so we're just going to have sine to the power of 1, which we know is just sine. Okay? So now we simply have sine of the ln of 3x squared plus 5, making sure our brackets are well written. And now we're not done. Since we differentiated through sine, our chain rule comes into effect, and we have to use the fact that the derivative of sine is cos, and now we have the sine of ln of 3x squared plus 5 times the cos of the ln of 3x squared plus 5. Okay, multiplying all of that through and making sure our brackets are properly written. And we're not done. Since we differentiate the sine of a composite function, namely the ln of a polynomial, we have to chain rule through these parts as well. Okay, so now that we've used um, these two things, actually I'm going to write out the derivative of ln of x is equal to 1 over x. I'll write that out again because it is worth getting to memory if you haven't done so already. So now that we've differentiated through sine squared, through sine, giving us the cos part through the chain rule, now we're going to differentiate the stuff inside of the bracket. So we're going to differentiate ln of 3x plus 5, the ln of x differentiates the 1 over x, and so the ln of a function differentiate, differentiates through 1 over that entire function. So the derivative of ln of 3x squared plus 5 is 1 over that entire 3x squared plus 5 times the derivative of 3x squared plus 5. The final little bit inside the last bracket. Okay, and the derivative of 3x squared plus 5, this one is straightforward enough. We're going to have 6x to multiply through. And now we've finally taken care of everything. And so here is our long winded expression for our derivative. Let's put it all together and simplify it a little bit. So the 6x at the end can multiply with the 3 times the 2 at the front. And so we'll have 3 times 2 times 6 times x, giving us 36x to start off, okay? Next we'll move on, so we'll have the sine of the ln of 3x squared plus 5 times the cos of the ln of 3x squared plus 5, making sure our brackets are always properly written. And now we've taken care of the 6x times 1 over 3x squared plus 5, can be incorporated into our expression as simply writing it over a denominator of 3 squared plus 5. And so that will finish things off for us. And so here is our simplified solution for the derivative um, of our function. So we have 36x times the sine of ln of 3 squared plus 5 times the cos of ln of 3x squared plus 5 all over 3x squared plus 5.
Okay. So in the finishing rule, always think we're working outside in, slowly closing in on whatever um, composite functions you are asked to deal with. Okay. I hope this helps. If you guys have any comments, suggestions, um, questions, anything of the sort, please let me know below. And any requests for future videos are always appreciated. Thanks for watching.